so uh, thank you for thank you for all the organizers. Uh, so Bastien, Pascal, Céline, and Ling Xiao, and uh, thank you for being here for, to to listen to me. Uh, I'm going to talk about a joint work with my supervisor uh, Stephen Sore at Cité uh, in France. Uh, the topic is about the uh, regularity properties of some random measures. So I already talked about this at another conference for young people. So I'm glad to re-talk it to, uh, to, all the, to, 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 to some other young people that I didn't know yet. So it's a good occasion to me. Um, <coughs> OK, so same points of, uh, of a class of Markov processes of these jumps. Uh, basic problem is, uh, is, uh, is the following. So let us consider a, a continuous time run uh, stochastic process in RD. So x in 0, 1. So let us define the occupation measure of this process, which is simply the time spent by this process at any fixed uh, measurable set in RD. So the question is the regularity about this measure, this random measure. Uh, first, the, the direct, uh, the, the most basic question is, is the absolute continuity of this measure. So um, in, uh, in some other terminology, it is also called occupation densities. In the Markovian, uh, Markovian context, it is often called local times. So when the local time does not exist, we can consider another kind of regularity properties for these measures. It is called local dimensions. So for this measure, we consider a point in the, uh, in the, in the support of this measure. Uh, we search for, we want to observe some kind of power law for the occupation measure of ball centered at this point x. Uh, it is simply the, the positive real number h such that we have this relation, okay? It is, uh, first of all, it's not always well defined because this limit cannot, uh, may not exist. And, uh, and uh, another observation is that for, sub, for, some, uh, for many measures, it might happen that this exponent h may depend on the position of this x. So I will give some examples. The first example, most uh, interesting example is the okay, most uh, interesting example is the Bernie motion. Uh, it is studied. Uh, it's, it's been a while. It, it has been studied. Uh, so Levy considered the local time, the existence of local times, and uh, in dimension one, it does exist. And in higher dimensions, a Bernie motion had, does, does not have local times, and we consider local dimensions. As, I as, the, as, I as was defined in the last slide. So Perkins and Tyler have, have, have has proved that for all the points in the support of this measure, uh, Brownian motion has local dimension two. It says two things. First, uh, the, the, limit, the limit, log log limit does exist. The second thing is that for all the points, uh, the, the regularity exponent, this h, uh, is the same for all the x. So for, uh, for uh, another kind of Levy process, this is a special case of Levy process, for another class of Levy process, for example, the increasing stable Levy process, also called spontinators, alpha stable spontinators, we can also consider the question. So its occupation matter has local dimension alpha. In this case, not for all the x in the support, but for mu almost every point in the support. Now this is a result by uh, Hu and Tyler in the late 90s. So does there exist ex exceptional sets, exceptional points? Uh, the quick answer is yes. I'll talk about this later. Okay, let us just mention another related question. Uh, for Brownian motion in higher dimension, we don't have local times, but and the local dimension is is a, is a, is a, is a constant for all the points. But we can consider some uh, some uh, some fluctuation for the regularity of this measure. 
uh, with log logarithm logarithmic order. So this is a this is a work in the in the early of the 2000. Uh, we can see a check paper by the Paris, Paris, Rosanne Zetudi. Okay, so the framework that I, that I uh, adopt to consider this problem is, uh, is a multi-fractal analysis. Uh, the, go the, basic, the goal of this, uh, the, of this framework is to distinguish different local behavior of the, uh, of the, uh, of the measure, considered measure, uh, by, this, by a description of the set of points with a given regularity exponent, means that with a given power law of h, this kind. So the, de the, de the, de the definition which makes sense, always makes sense, is the upper local dimension. We all, uh, instead of taking limit, we take this limb sweep for this log-log uh, quantity. Uh, we can always, we can, we, can, we can also define this lower local dimension which is only the, uh, the limb inf here. And the limit exists, we call it a local dimension. Okay, so the definition of this, um, uh, of the, what we call uh, upper multifractal spectrum is the mapping to as they associate each value of h, possible h, the power law, to the Hausdorff dimension of this level set for this regularity exponent. Okay, so the Hausdorff dimension is just, okay, it's uh, by a word, uh, it's, uh, it describes the whole thing a set in a, in a matrix space is. Okay, this is the right notion in this context and in many others. And, but we can also consider, for example, packing dimensions of this kind of, uh, kind of site. Okay. Um, so, Finally, what is called a sim point? The sim point uh, recorded for uh, alpha stable subordinator for mu almost every point, we have this power law with alpha. In this case, the power law exists, the limit exists for almost every point. And, but there are many other points. We have another uh, power law with bigger exponent h. In this case, r power to h is much smaller to that one. So we call it, in this case, we call this the point x a sim point. Hu and Tyler in 97 proved that the Hausdorff dimension of set of points with given regularity h is this function. So if I draw a picture of this, uh, this spectrum, It'll be like this. This is the Hausdorff dimension of the, uh, the set. This is the, all the possible value of h. For the other values, larger than two alpha, smaller than alpha, it has the Hausdorff, uh, this is only a simple uh, uh, empty set. And this alpha corresponds to the Hausdorff dimension of the, uh, of the range of the alpha stable spot nature. Okay, so with all this in mind, let us just uh, uh, give a few words on the process I studied. Uh, so the goal is to, to describe same points, okay, of the, of the jump diffusions, jumping SDEs, uh, by using uh, the notions of multifractal analysis. Uh, the, the, the kind of different difficulty or difference is that uh, for, for this kind of more general Markov process, we don't have stationary increment, okay, this is uh, <coughs> uh, the difference between process I studied and that of uh, Hu and Tyler. So definition of, uh, the definition of this uh, kind of process given by Bayes, Bayes introduced this in late 80s. Uh, this is a Markov process with generator of this kind. We remark that if beta is a constant function, uh, we recover uh, what we call the alpha stable uh, subordinator. Of course, we, here we only keep the uh, we only keep the, uh, the the large jumps. The large jumps does not influence the the pass the, the, the sample pass properties of a process. We, we remove it. Okay. So the SDE satisfying by this process is is, uh, is this kind. It is 
is written as a stochastic, uh, stochastic integral with respect to some Poisson point process, okay, some Poisson measure generated by a Poisson point process with this, okay, with this intensity. Okay, so let us uh, remember that we want to study the, uh, the, the hostile dimension of this set of uh, singularities. So we need a translation from this formulation and uh, the way uh, to, to, compute, to, to do the computations. Okay, so the first thing that, I, that we can say is that we consider a point x in the support of this matter. Okay, support of this matter is just the range of this process with some uh, closure, with this closure. Um, we consider a point in the, in, the, in the support, we consider this quantity, uh, we consider a point in the, the set with this property, so this limb sweep is bigger than h minus epsilon. So for infinite many scales, uh, tending to zero, we have this inequality. And this, this describes this, the time spent by this process n inside the ball with radius rn. It is, it is upper bounded by something like this. It means that the process cannot be too slow. So if we translate it to the increment of the process, it, is, it means that um, the two side increment of the process is larger than the increment power two, so one over h essentially, multiplied by beta. Okay, so we need some increments, we need some increments estimates to, to do some uh, uh, further computations. So the second key estimate is, um, is the following. So if we consider the increment, this is not exactly the increment of our process M, but the increment truncated, the large jumps bigger, bigger than two, bigger than the, than the, uh, uh, the, the, the time increment power two, one over delta. If we truncate all the large jumps, of a, of a certain scale, then we have this uniform control for the uniform control for the increment of the process. And the larger jumps are, are much smaller to control. Once we have this, uh, we can give a uh, good estimate for this. Uh, we can good estimate for the, for the increment. So the, the, the observation is the following. For smaller increment, we have for smaller jumps, accumulation of smaller jumps, we have this upper bound. And for the, for the total increment, we have this lower bound. It means that this has some large jumps. That's good. Smaller jump, because the, uh, the smaller jump accumulation only gives this order. And uh, I'm sorry, this is the big order. So definitely there are some large jumps. So our conclusion is that there are two large jumps beside the time t um, such, such that mt, so every mt in this set, the t, uh, <coughs> should satisfy this two, two jumps configuration uh, beside it. Okay, so if we highlight all this kind of double jump configuration, like what we did for the for the for the for the for the percolation fractal percolation, we can we can consider at each scale the time the, the increment the the the, the intervals uh, with this kind of configuration, and can by considering its descendant, also consider all we also choose to keep all this double jump configuration. We get a set a fractal set, and this is will be. Uh, we'll give an upper bound for this point. Remind that we do not want to compute this hostile dimension. Uh, we, in fact, we want to consider the, the, the set of x such that we have this, uh, this, uh, this regularity h. So, so there's still some, uh, a step from time to space. So in this case, we have, we will need an analog of the dimension doubling theorem for, for brownian motion. Okay, 
The lower bound is, uh, is much more involved, I'm not going to talk about it. It, uh, is, it, it concerns the construction of the control sets inside uh, this all this level set of, singular, set of singularities. So, result is the following. The upper uh, multi-fractal spectrum of this matter is, uh, is this, uh, in fact, this is a random mapping, uh, which is the uh, superposition of, the, uh, of all these kind of uh, this kind of curves. It gives also a random fractal effect. So thank you for your attention. Merci beaucoup. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions? Si pas de questions, euh Merci encore. Merci.